Hello and welcome back and today I would like to talk to you about multi-instances activity. So multi-instance activity provides a mechanism to indicate that an activity is executed multiple times concurrently. So here we have a multi-instance task as well as multi-instance subprocess. The symbol used to represent that an activity is of multi-instance type is pre-parallel vertical lines. Here is the symbol for it and as you can remember it's the same used to represent a data collection. Here is the data collection symbol and you can see that it uses the same element. So now let's quickly go ahead and delete that. And when do we use multi-instances activity? Well, there are a lot of times. It's useful when the same activity needs to be executed for multiple entities or data items, such as requesting quotes from multiple suppliers, checking the availability for each line item in an order separately or sending and gathering questionnaires from multiple people. And these are only few examples of when you will be using multi-instance activities. To become familiar with usage of multi-instance activities, I would like to show you a quick example. So here we have a process of lodging an insurance claim by insurance client. As you can see, we have three different pools, uh, one being insurance client, and it is the main one, and the other ones being witness and insurance company. As you can see, we have two black boxes here, witness and insurance company. We do not see what's going inside of them, and we only have one white box being the insurance client. So the process starts when car accident occurred, then we check for witnesses and then we use a data collection element and then we use data collection element to represent the process of saving all the details of each witness that we come across. Then we go and obtain statements from these different witnesses and we have a message load going from this activity uh, requesting for statement and then we get from them a statement. As you can see we have a multi-instance symbol in the sub process meaning that we will do it a couple of times and we have to have a completion condition that tells us when we stop executing the sub process and we move on with our process. In our case we only need to get two statements from witnesses and another interesting detail about this example you can see that witness pool has multi-instance symbol in it as well. We use this because multi-instance pool, we use this because multi-instance pool denotes multiple participants of the same type. And when we get those two statements, we move on with our process, we lodge an insurance claim, we send this claim to insurance company, and for us, this process is completed. As you can see in this example, we used three different multi-instance elements, data collection, sub-process, and a pool. And it's all been very logical and there's really nothing hard about it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and until next time, happy modeling.